Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're gonna talk about coffee once again, but this time it's gonna be about the Starbucks Virtual Line pods. All right, so I have my phone here because I think they have seven like variations of their pods. I'll tell you which ones I got right now in a second, but they have the Starbucks Espresso Roast Coffee, which is supposed to be a molasses and caramelized sugar notes. They have the Starbucks Blonde Espresso, smooth and sweet notes. They have the Starbucks Pike Place Roast, mug size, chocolate and roasted nut notes. The Veranda Blend, which is also a mug size, and that's a toasted malt and baking chocolate notes. Cafe Verona, which that's a dark cocoa and burnt sugar notes in a mug size. Columbia, which is a toasted walnut and herbs notes, mug size. And then they have the Sumatra, which is earthy and herbal notes in a mug size. So they have five mug size pods and then they have two espresso size uh, pods. And so these are the ones that I ended up getting. I got the blonde espresso roast. Ah, this one right here, this is the blonde espresso roast. I got the regular espresso roast and then I got their veranda blend. And then I had to have their Pike Place because that's usually their like what they're known for roast. So their Pike Place chocolate and toasted nut notes. So these two are their mug sizes. And then the other two are the espresso shots. So these are the ones that I'm going to be using for lattes and stuff like that. And then these two you can use, you can also use for lattes, but a true latte is a shot of espresso. These are just coffee mug sizes. So you can use these and just add a little bit of creamer. I'm gonna try all of them. So <laughs> your girl doesn't need this much coffee, but I wanna try all of them. This is how they open up. And then it has this little thing. And for example, this one is their espresso roast, the blue one. They're kind of hard to take out, but this is how their inside looks. They're packaged pretty nicely. And that's how the pod looks like so pretty similar to the nespresso pads if you guys saw my latte recipe um, video then you'll know that i do almond milk for most of my coffees so i'm just gonna um froth some in the arashino while the coffee brews all right so then let's put this on i almost pressed the button without putting a cup on there so since this is an espresso, let's, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna use this cup. I kicked myself in the butt last time for not using this cup, so I'm just gonna use it to begin with. And we're gonna put it right here. Let me zoom you guys in. So this is your espresso shot from that blue pot. I'm just gonna taste it without milk. Oof, that's very strong. So if you guys like a strong espresso, I think you guys would like this one. It sinks in really well, if that makes any sense. Like there's like that bitterness at the beginning, but at the end I kind of see what they mean about, I think it says chocolate, let me see. Caramelized sugar notes. Yeah, there's like something sweet about it at the end. But I am gonna put some milk in it because I just, I like my coffee with milk. I just need all the milk and then the foam at the end there you go i'm gonna pour a little bit of syrup this is the butter pecan syrup from tarani i just have it in different containers give that a little bit of a stir I don't know if it's mental, but it definitely takes me back to like a Starbucks latte. Like it actually tastes like their lattes. Now I don't know if they have like a butter pecan latte, so that's different. But that taste, I think is, it's pretty Starbucks spot on. I wouldn't say it's better than espresso because Nespresso pods are pretty, pretty good. I don't hate it. The milk definitely balances that bitterness. Not bad. Fill this thing with milk again. I'm gonna froth it while we do the other pod or the next pod. So the next pod while we're on the espresso topic, I'm gonna do this one. This is the blonde espresso roast. So this one is supposed to be a little bit lighter. It says smooth and sweet. I think it's supposed to be comparable to the Bianco Leggero if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna brew this one and we're gonna use one of these cups. So 
So this is how it looks. I'm gonna try it without milk. Yes, this is definitely a lot lighter. This is a type of espresso that I can get used to drinking by itself without milk, but I'm never gonna be that person. Let's add milk to this. What it tastes like with milk. Give it a little mix. Let's try it. That one is really creamy. So, so far between these two, if I would repurchase, I would definitely repurchase this one because I just like the creamier, um, smoother tasting coffees. Stronger roasts are not really my vibe, which is why I didn't really buy a lot of the other stronger roast flavors, but this one's pretty good. All right, let's move on to the mug sizes. And I'm gonna froth the same amount of milk for the mug sizes. I probably just won't add the whole milk to begin with because I think the mug as it is you're getting a lot more milk so actually you know what i have half and half so we'll do half and half with those let me go get that all right i'm not gonna brew or i'm not gonna froth the half and half just because we're only gonna add a little bit we'll just brew these things so this is how these look oh they actually came out of their spots <laughs> but this is how these look so obviously they're a little bit bigger because they're a mug size and here's a little Trivia, if you guys didn't know, these little black lines on the pods, they're all barcodes. The machines know what to brew based on the barcode that it's receiving. So this one's going to be a mug. So naturally it's going to have more water volume because it's a mug size cup. We'll use the Nespresso mug for this one. I don't know if I like it try a little bit of half and half you know what i don't know i think this is gonna need more than half and half because i already don't even like it it doesn't have any flavor it's supposed to be toasted malt and baking chocolate notes and i don't think this is good it's very weak very like almost like a very light roast which makes sense because like the whole box is kind of light in color Intensity is a six, which is weird because in intensity six in the Nespresso version, I actually, I actually enjoy. But this one, I don't know how much milk will actually make it taste better. It's going to just make it, I don't know. Let's just try it with half and half and see what happens. I mean... It's it's not my favorite. It's not strong at all. And I surprisingly don't like a very strong coffee. But this one is actually very weak. I think I would actually call it more of like a level four. That's what it feels. Or that's what it tastes like to me. So not my favorite. Let's try their Pike Place. This one is supposed to be a intensity seven. Which is just one above the veranda. Which is weird. But this is what they're known for. Pike Place. So... we'll try it in this cup while we wait for that to brew i just wanted to see what the back of the espresso ones say all right so this blue one remember when i that's my baby in the background i do i am a mom <laughs> so he's up um but this one their intensity is 11 their espresso like regular espresso that's an 11 which is pretty strong so like i said if you guys like a strong latte or if you guys just drink out flat espresso this one's a pretty strong one and then their blonde roast that we tried that I actually really liked. It's an intensity level six. So I don't know. The veranda one, maybe. I don't know. I just prefer the espresso. I don't know. That's just my opinion. So. Why does this look like it has more than the other one? What the heck? Okay, something. Or You know what? Maybe my machine f this up. A spoiler alert my machine ended up breaking i don't know what happened towards the end of the day i noticed that it was leaking coffee i ended up calling nespresso and they were so kind enough to send me a totally new machine but yes the only reason they were able to help is because i did register my machine so if you guys ended up buying this machine and haven't registered it yet please 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 register it it doesn't matter where you bought it machines are gonna break they're man-made 
but make sure that you have them registered so that Nespresso is able to help you guys out. I did have to do a little bit of troubleshooting with them over the phone, but even with that, they still weren't able to fix the problem, so they are sending a new machine. Because this is two different amounts. Oh, and they're supposed to be the same size. So I'm gonna dump this out and brew the same one again because maybe my machine's just acting funny, which would suck. Veranda, let's give you one more chance to redeem yourself. While that brews, I'm gonna try their Pike Place with a little bit of half and half. Yeah, like this seems more of what I was expecting from the Veranda. I think my machine was just freaking out for a second, hopefully. This one's pretty good. It's actually pretty good. It's very creamy, very smooth, chocolate and toasted nut notes. I like it. All right, Pike Place is pretty good. Level seven intensity. Let's see if my machine is the one to blame for Veranda. This is what a mug pour looks like. All right, I don't know what happened at the beginning. That was just garbage and that was my machine's fault, so. Ooh, I almost dropped this. Let's try this again with half and half. And you know what? You get more space in the mug, in the Nespresso mug, than the other cup that I had. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a mix. Yeah, this one's pretty good. It's very nutty. What does it say? It's very nutty to me, but it says toasted malt and chocolate baking notes. It has like that nutty flavor. I don't mind it. It actually is really good. So I misjudged it and clearly it was my machine's fault. I don't know what it was doing with that pour. I hope it's not breaking. I mean, I just got it. I love espresso shots when it comes to like coffee because I just preferred lattes to begin with uh, over like an iced coffee or just like a hot coffee. I prefer lattes. Anywhere I go, I always order latte. So I think my favorite from the whole bunch that I got today was definitely the blonde espresso. This one right here. That is my review taste test on four of these. If there's a specific one that I didn't taste test that you want me to taste test, taste test. <laughs> Um, let me know in the comment sections below and before you guys go Let me know what is your favorite Starbucks drink of choice? I'm sure all of us have like the fanciest orders Mine is not that fancy. I either always I always get a grande Iced caramel latte like that's usually my go-to unless there's like a holiday and then I'll get the creme brulee latte or the uh, pumpkin spice latte cold foam the pumpkin cold brews are good the sweet cream cold brews are good so let me know in the comment section below what you guys are what your go-to starbucks drink is and yeah that is it for today's video thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next one bye